and you reached a general agreement on the signing of Holland. Manager Olga Gunnar Solskjaer and Director of Football John Murto have held discussions over Manchester United's transfer plans next summer. When Manchester United ended the summer's transfer window with the signing of Cristiano Ronaldo back to Old Trafford, everyone recognized that the Red Devils had done a good job. Ronaldo, along with Jadon Sancho and Rafael Baronid, walked through the door of the Carrington Training Center as the commitment of new owners to coach Paul Gunnar Solskjaer. With five goals in seven games, Ronaldo has proven 36 years old is not a problem for him. Even the Portuguese superstar insists he can still compete at the top in Europe until the age of 40. But NU still has to look to the future to find a worthy replacement for Ronaldo on the attack in the near future. Last summer, Emu was out of the race to get the signature of Harry Kane. Instead, the noisy neighbor Manchester City publicly intended to buy Kane from Tottenham but was unsuccessful. It is possible that after this season, Kane's future will once again make waves in world football, especially if Spurs continue their mediocrity under coach Nuno Espirito Santo. According to the Manchester Evening News, England, Solskjaer, and director of football John Myrtle have a mutual agreement that Erling Holland is a better choice than Kane. Holland is said to be able to inherit the throne of Ronaldo and Lionel Messi as the best player in the world. And you suffered a big shock in early 2020 when, after lengthy negotiations, the Norwegian striker chose to join Borussia Dortmund from RB Salzburg, not MU. At that time, MU Vice President, Ed Woodward negotiated with Holland and his agent was Super Agent Nino Riola. Thinking the deal was completed, MU failed at the last minute. And it is said to come from Nino Riola's toughness. Since joining Borussia Dortmund, the 21-year-old Norwegian striker has been extremely strong, scoring 68 goals in 67 games in all competitions. Holland's style and physical resources seem perfectly suited to the Premier League environment. With Holland's release clause priced at just 75 million euros next summer, there's a big chance the European giant could snag Holland's signature. 75 million euros is a great bargain given the value and potential Holland brings to every team. Falkshire and Myrtle held a meeting in September to outline and use transfer plan next season. Both agreed that Holland will be Emu's number one target next summer. Emu legend Gary Neville also believes that his former club should seriously consider Holland's case. When asked by the media if Emu signing Ronaldo could change their transfer plans, Gary Neville told Sky Sports, No, I think Manchester United next year could lose Anthony Machel, Juan Mata, and Edinson Cavani will definitely leave after the contract expires. Therefore, the NU squad will have gaps that need to be filled. If Holland is available in the transfer market next year and they want to make a deal with his agent and Holland considers a move to MU important then NU should buy him. And I don't think the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo will prevent Holland from joining United. Coach Dolph Gare has stated that he has a close relationship with fellow Norwegian Erling Holland. Falk Gare used to be Holland's teacher when they both worked for Mold, Norway.
It is certainly an advantage if Manchester United are determined to pursue Holland next summer.